Hi guys. So today we are not eating in the car. We're just doing the intro in the car because it's been a bit <laughs> rainy and Stacey doesn't want to get her arm all messed up. No, no, so today we're going over to that little place over there called You and Me Revolving Hot Pot, which has got what, Stace? So it's actually got a robot that's acting as the waiter or waitress. So it looks, we have seen it on some YouTube yeah. videos. It looks pretty interesting. You want to try a hot pot anyway. Yeah, yeah. And why not get served by a robot? Yeah. At least they don't smell like humans. I think there's a couple. I think one takes you to the table and then there's another one. I've seen one where somebody gets a piece of birthday cake and a different robot brings it. I might lie and say it's my birthday. Well, so I'd say the bonus says they don't smell like humans, so... Yeah, because I stink. Take me, I am <laughs> Here we are! Look forward to serving you next time! Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> That's cool. So, Peanut has just expertly brought us to our table. Everybody needs a Peanut in their lives. She was so she cute. She was so cute, yeah. No, so here's the menu. We're having the unlimited hot pot. So, as you can see, uh, here's all the little bits. These are the non meat items. So we like pea sprouts and what else have we got? Bean sprouts and noodles and stuff that go around you just help yourself. And you choose your broth. So we've got original pork bone, spicy, ooh, mushroom, the tomato, herbal, and a tom yum. And then you can, uh, oh, you have to be careful because if there's any leftovers you have to pay. And then there's all boba tea drinks. Smoothies, but I think cold stabber, a Pepsi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe a coconut milk to wash it down with. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, it all looks so nice there. Some sweet potato noodles. Oh, I can't wait. And then you go up and get your meat from and your sauces yeah. up there once we. What, what broth are you having? I just want to add. I think I want to add original. I'm not sure. I'm going to have a look now and decide. So, luckily, right next to the table, we've got these uh, cooking times all the different items. I'm glad, glad about that really because we wouldn't have a clue. Like so rice noodles is three to five minutes, winter melon three to five minutes but then something like um, fried breadstick is five to ten seconds, thirty seconds so luckily that'll help us out. I've gone for the original broth. Yep and I've had the tomato broth. Didn't fancy some of because the other ones sound really spicy. I was going to say, I thought the spicy and the sweet sounded nice, but I don't know if it'd be a bit too spicy for me. It smells lovely though. Yeah, it does oh, smell nice. It smells really tomato so, yeah, sweet. let's go get some stuff yeah, to put in it now. We've got to go get the meat and make our dipping sauces. Yeah. And then start eating. Right, so we're just getting the fish and our meat now, what we have to cook from raw. So we've got some big king prawns, some little de-shell prawns. Ooh, I might go for some of them. Uh, ooh, some little scallops. And some oysters. Do you want some of these? You can do. Um, yeah, I I'm a bit one-handed at the moment with the camera. Is that uh, enough? Yeah, yeah, that's fine for now. Uh, little half of blue crabs. Like the, oh, some mussels and some clams. Oh, they've got some little octopus, some little squids at the back. Uh, some little crawfish. What's that? Oh, beef tribe. I don't think that's for us. Oh, we've got sliced squid there. And fish and then you've got sausages uh, and you've got like fish bowls maybe beef bowls i don't know if the pork ones as well there just all the white ones are fish and here's your thinly sliced frozen meat so we've got lamb uh, we've got pork i'm guessing pork barley and some chicken and that's fatty all fatty beef there we go and this this is all stuff that cooks really quickly it's like 30 seconds maximum right so i'm gonna go because <laughs> my plate's getting full i've got one hand I'm going to pile up the plate and we'll see you back at the table. Another important factor about hot pot is the dipping sauce. So here's the station with all the goodies on. Just mix it all up and make your own little sauce. Oh, yeah. Bit of sesame oil as well. Loads of coriander in. Poor garlic. There we go. Right. 
set this back. Need some dumplings. What else have we got? Uh, so that's a good thing about this. You can just try all different things you've never tried before, like some fried taro. Stacey will definitely be having some fried potatoes, I think. Yeah, fried potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's eat. Right, so Kev's going to show us how it's done. Well, he's going to try. Okay, so you're putting Flatty the meat beef. in first. Oh, I've lost it. <laughs> we'll do it the easy way. So Kev's been a bit more experimental with his meat, whereas I've just gone for chicken oh, and prawns. Just like chicken. Oh, there we go. Look, I'm fishing out all the spring onions and there's bits of tomato in this broth. Oh, but literally, it doesn't take long cook. Okay. And that's oh. it. Mmm. That's not nice. That tomato broth adds loads of flavour to that meat. Stacey's turn now. She's just playing with a dipping sauce. I've not gone saucy enough with the dipping sauce, so I've put too much garlic in and things and not enough in the actual sauce. So that was a failure. <laughs> I can't this. use chocolate. You've got a spoon. Oh, yeah, I'll use a spoon. I can't use, I can't use chocolate. No, Stacey's got no. I mean, I'm not the best at it. But uh, I think Stacey's just going to go for the stick everything in and pray for the best method. Best way. I hope there's a CBS nearby. We'll probably need some of the, well, I'll just let the chickens so cook that, that's all I'm saying. Sweet potato noodles. I've been waiting for them to come around, but I've got, I've got some crawfish here. I'm not sure. I'm glad we've got the cooking list because I'm not going to know how long stuff's going to take in this hot pot. I think I've burnt my Oh dear. I mean, I'm. I've got dumplings and stuff that needs to go in there. Right, let's start chucking stuff in. I've put some balls in. How long do my balls take, Coop? Beef balls take three minutes, right? So I'm guessing my shrimp. Shrimp balls going to be done. Oh, if you run out of broth, should they bring them I think you might top it your. Um, there's a lot of broth there for, like, you've got your own bowl, so. And the good thing about the bowls is you, you don't have to be good with chopsticks, you can just stab them. That's what I do. I'm trying, I've got a tater nest and I can't find it. It's fine guys, I've got the noodles, chicken and prawns. <laughs> and you, I hope it's good. You can always chuck some in your sauce. I'm going to chuck some in your sauce, yeah. Because you've not sourced it up much, have you? No. Mmm. <sighs> them shrimp bowls are nice, you'd like them. I wish the little information thing was a bit bigger, because... Uh, I can't see what I need. Here he goes. Mm. Are you enjoying that? I've done a good job. Yeah. Well, let me dip it. That's Get a nice. bit of your broth. Because what's your broth taste like? My noodles. Ooh, are... the broth's very nice. My noodles are a bit chewy. Is this broth? Not cooked? a problem. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I like your broth. Thank you. You get a, like a little. Uh, little wood hot plates that bubbles it up and you have to keep adjusting yeah, so it and just, stuff. Um, there is loads of signs up but just be careful if you do come with kids because it's easily for just oh, yeah. doing yourself, it's literally just in front. <laughs> oh this one's cool. So this is like your waiter robot. <laughs> that's great. Oh and then you just reach and grab it. Oh that's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> And then you cut, you can try to cut the ear. Mm -hmm. You try. So we touch the ear. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Try one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh. So what they brought is a um, well, the robot has brought us a little boba tea. But look, it's got peanut on the cup. That's adorable. She did a great job. She didn't spill any. She was very no, polite. She was better than I'd be. <laughs> I'd be terrible. Now, how long do these dumplings take? Oh, two to four minutes. Ah, they might be all right. You need to bring your glasses if you've uh, got, got very good sight. Do you reckon if you've got any complaints, that's when like the robot shoots off and she's like, I'll go get the humans. I don't, yeah, deal, with yeah, I don't yeah. deal with complaints. I just bring your drinks yeah, over she, and leave you to your table. She isn't bothered about your complaints. Don't, don't moan at the robot. Okay, so there's a beef ball. Really nice, I like these uh, different balls. Is it nice? 
heavy throat's closing up. I think I put a bit too much chilli in. <laughs> no, these beef balls are delicious. I better try one of my dumplings. These dumplings are huge. Oh, I've just spotted some of the thin rice noodles being passed, and we're going to grab some yeah. of those. Look at that. It's huge. It's bigger in my mouth. So those the ones out before are egg noodles, aren't they? And these are the rice noodles. Yeah, yeah, there's all different. There's udon noodles have just gone past. Vegetable. Oh, they've got vegetable noodles. Mm. It's so hot. You forget because, like, when you cook it home, like, by the time you've plated it all up, mm -hmm. it's going down because you're taking it straight out of their spoiling broth. The thin chicken is, is so, so nice. Oh, I've not like, tried like, that Yeah, yet. it's really nice, yeah. I've got a plate full of things. I, I need Luke help along with crawfish take for cook. Everything's really nice so far. We've been eating a lot of, like, burgers and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, like, chicken, like, fried chicken, yeah. like... So it's just, like, a nice... I think to have something a bit different and you've always wanted to try this aren't you now for a while oh that that chili dipping stuff is a bit warm isn't it yeah mm. it's hard to know what what like kind of stuff you put in your dipping sauce mm. you know because you just you're kind of winging it because there's mine mine's a little bit saucy and stacy's i think stacy's giving up now and she's just banging everything in the pot she's just going We've got, the, we've got the thing in front of me. It says all the times, but I'm just getting off my own times. I'm doing my own thing. And then put the... Put there the goes noodles. the rice noodles. The whole lot. Oh, and then I need something else to go in. Um, with the dumplings, do want, nice. Do you want one of these dumplings? Oh, yes, please. Oh, and then it'll taste like my broth. Pass me your bowl. This broth, because you haven't tried mine. I'm pinching a dumpling. The hot Have you tried the lowest food yet? No, I'll grab one. Grab one. <laughs> I just saw it like, go past then and thought yeah. I knew you wanted to try that. Right, I think we need a few of these bits because uh, we're running out of room uh, and I'm forgetting what we've picked up. There's just some black fungus going past. I'm not going to grab that because it's sounds appealing. It's just black mushrooms. Is it? Fungus mushrooms. Oh, I'm going to grab some of them. I love hey. mushrooms. Like Do you have like a funky taste or anything? I'm not sure. Just try it. This is the whole thing about the hot pot. Is we just try it and see where it takes us. If um, you don't like some of this, then you don't pick another one up. Yeah, I'm gonna bang some of those in. Really glad I had a tomato broth. Just some a bit, little bit different. It doesn't taste like a. Don't think of it as like a pasta. It doesn't is taste it like. Is it not? A, that's what put me no. off having the tomato ones. I no. don't like, like the pasta tomato no, it's sauce. Not, uh, is it okay? I'm going to try your dumpling before I mix mine. No, it's not like a, a tomato sauce. And there's Stacey's broth. Oh, you might like these, them fried breadsticks. Like a, a Chinese bread. Ooh. They don't take long. I've seen that on there. They only not? take well, like... That's say, nearly done now anyway, so I can just chuck these in last minute. Yeah, they only say, it says they only take like five seconds. It's like some little breadsticks there. Yeah, Stacey. See, Stacey's got a pot full of everything on the go here. Best way, honestly, best way. No, I feel like I'm slacking a little bit because I'm trying to. And then you can just like, yeah. I'm trying to do one at a time. Just bang it all in and then you can enjoy, enjoy the whole dish. I love these little, uh, these little squid heads. They had, either, they had quite big thick strips or the little thin ones. I thought I'd get the little baby ones. So I've already got noodles outside of my can. I splash some broth on my thigh. It's going well. When I say how thin the chicken is, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's paper. So I'm just about to try one of the black fungus it was, basically a mushroom. Very like, it's a bit crunchy. Alright. Yeah, do you want to try one? Yeah. It's not like a normal mushroom, it's got a bit of a crunch a to it. There we go. Stick it in the pot. Stick it in the pot. I've okay. got some beef on the go. Yeah, it's nice. Just a bit of, it adds a bit of like crunch to like the softness of the noodles and like the thinness of the meat. Did you cook it long enough? Yeah, I did. I'm there uh, looking at the times now. I'm long Three to five it. minutes. Oh, it's in longer than that. That's oh, probably like, it's in about 15 minutes. It's probably why like it's got Ooh. a bit of a crunch. It's nice though. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that is nice. It's different. Mm. Different than like a normal chest, chestnut mushroom or button mushroom. The plates are building up to be empty plates the size of peanuts, not quick enough in fetching the plates away as she No, cooks. don't blame peanut. Peanut doesn't fetch the empty plates. She doesn't. She's too good for that. Oh, right. Okay, then. But it's absolutely packed in here, so it's obviously a good sign that it's popular yeah. and, you know, a nice place. Yeah, that's the lotus fruit. Never had this before. 
and I seem to be spending either more of my time looking out to cook stuff or waiting for it to come back to round so I can remember what I've actually ordered. Not ordered, picked up the help. help me. If I don't find it on there, I, I wait for it to come back round and I've just seen it, I was like, what's this? Because I didn't have an idea and I've just found out it's fried taro and it takes two to three minutes but it's been in there for about 10. But it's not mushy. I've just tried it, yeah, it's nice, yeah. I wouldn't believe how filling it is. Like, I'm getting really full. I haven't like, even had any noodles. Yeah, yeah, it is filling. I suppose I've had noodles in both yeah, my bowls. Yeah, you've had too lots of noodles, so I think that I'll have meat and fish next time and maybe leave the noodles because it is filling me up a bit. Uh, it's a good job. We aren't really planned anything after this because Stacey's covered in broth. I said before you'll end up on one of us and then, yeah. And you with it all on me. So I'm actually going to finally put some noodles in. I got some sweet potato noodles. Uh, don't ask me how long they take cook. This is another thing I'm glad we've been able to try. Is I've never had that before. Some uh, fried tofu skin. Mm, that looks like an egg as well. Oh, it's, it's the skin off the top of uh, when they make tofu. <laughs> We're running out of room. Stacey's like, where shall I put things? That uh, fried toast scoop in it. Tight dead. <laughs> that fried toast. That fried toast. Tofu skin. I can't say it. I've done that three times just. That fried tofu skin was nice. It was a bit different. It stays a little bit crunchy once you've fried it. Did you say that? Or did you say tofu? Oh, just tofu. To fried tofu, we mean. Yeah, I know what I mean. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of these sweet potato noodles. They're a bit slimy. I was literally talking to me and spat something out on my leg. So they are that slimy, aren't they? They're just like... I can't, I can't describe them. I was literally them. like, I don't like these. I looked down and I was like, you spat some on my leg, didn't you? They're really like chewy and... I can't chew them. You just I, have to swallow them. I just tried them as well. They're such like a weird texture. It's like, I don't know. It's like... No. It's like, it's like eating worms. It's like boiled gummy sweets or something. Barry, that's the first thing I've not liked. Stacey's just gone get some more meat. I really like these, uh, what were they called? Bread stick, fried bread. You just put it in for like five seconds. And it just, it looks a bit dry at first, but it sucks up all the, all the broth. It's really nice. Uh, I think I'm going to regret trying to eat some uh, crawfish with this white top on. I can just see me getting splashed everywhere. We'll give it a go though. So I've just got some more chicken, some more prawns and I've also done another sauce. I've had a... Um, no more sauce in this time. Um, oh, not soy sauce. What's the other one? Sa Sesame oil. No, there's another one. Satay sauce? Like a peanut sauce. No, wasn't that one. What's the other one? It's like. <laughs> it's like. Loads. You'll see it when you go up there and know what it is. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's one that isn't spicy. I really can't think of it. Ooh. When you, once you go up there, have a look and let me know. Yeah, I will be. I can't pitch you. The only other one I think, can think of is like a peanut sauce. I don't think it's a bit of an S. Don't know peanut sauce. Soy sauce? No. What colour was it? Like a, like a brown colour. Like a... I give up. I'll have a look after. Oh, what was it? It's, it's an obvious one in Verdoff. Uh, so I've just grabbed as well off there some king oyster mushrooms. Ooh, so I nice didn't spot things. them before. Yeah, so do you want some of yours? Uh, I've, got, still... I've got two bowls, so... <laughs> Can yeah, I'm yeah. still trying to... I'll, yeah, I'll have some in a sec. Okay. I'm still just trying to fish out some lotus roots. There we go. This broth, because it's getting a bit low down now, getting a bit spicy. Yeah, I like this lotus fruit. It's got a bit of a different. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit crunchy. I think this is going to be the last bowl for me because I'm getting quite full. Oh. I've had no noodles in this one. No, but you've had a load of bread, <laughs> a load of tofu skin, a load of mushrooms, a load of meat. The only tip I can give is to use your little ladle if you don't want to lose stuff put the stuff in your little ladle and then just leave it there you did give me that tip and i've just forgotten throwing everything in i know but you've literally thrown everything in you need your broth tucking up i know it's uh it was a radical 
and then it's suddenly just gone woof. Peanuts just said to somebody that she's got to walk and not run or else she'll be tired. She'll run out of the battery. Long days for Peanuts, really long days. So this is Stacy's like monstrosity and this is mine so I've got nothing in mine. And Stacy's just literally piled chicken, bread, taters and everything in this. So Kev was laughing at mine, he's just gone get some more meat. He was laughing at mine because he chucked everything in, so I'm gonna give it a taste. The bread's a little bit overdone, but other than that, it's completely fine. How much meat have you got? Right, I knew he was gonna say that. It's not as much as he looks. I know because it's really thin. It looks like a lot of meat. It is a lot. But it isn't really, because when you consider how thin it is, like, there's a plateful there. And I bet it's not no, like... No, when it coops, it does, yeah. It's not like, you know, I bet there's not a... A chicken breast there. I was going to say, yeah, I bet there's not a chicken breast's worth of meat in there. I was just saying you're laughing at me because I chucked everything in, but I tasted it while you were gone. It was all fine, but the bread was a little bit overcooked. Yeah. I still, I still eat and you thought it was no, a little yeah, bit yeah, overcooked. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'll eat that. Chicken was fine. And I like my sauce this time. Now I've made it a bit more saucy. Yeah, yeah, you can actually dip it in this time. Yeah, well I've chucked it all in the bowl, but... It smells very sesame. I think you put a lot of sesame oil on it. What was that sauce? Did you look? No, I didn't go off. Oh. We'll, we'll have a look after. I'll look on the way out. Oh, um, so with your dipping sauce, have you actually added it in the dipping sauce, whereas I tip, tipped it all in the, yeah. in the bowl. We watched the Jackie from Super Ren Fuse, oh, yeah. the video where she came in. And she did the like I did, tipped it all in the bowl. Yeah, like I said before about the label trick, if you're not very good with uh, chopsticks, just put everything in the label and leave it. Look, so that was all my chicken, and I haven't got fish it, steaming up, I haven't got fish any of it out. <laughs> it's all there, hopefully perfectly cooked. We'll know tomorrow. So yeah, Kev's top tips for trying hot pot. Unless you can find it all in a bowl. We're all finished now with the main hot pot stuff. I think we're a bit nice full. Yeah, I'm really full. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what are we ending so it with? So we're ending it with, we've got gifted by Peanut herself a nice bubble tea. So I we're think just it's gonna... a brown sugar one. Is it brown sugar? Yeah, one, it looks it? like yeah. brown sugar. It's very kind of, so thank you, thank Peanut. Thank you, Peanut. It's a brown sugar Is one. Is it a brown sugar it's one? It's really sweet. Yeah. It's nice. We we have tried these before, haven't we? Yeah, we yeah. thought we'd end it with this. <laughs> we didn't want. I didn't think it'd go it's, with the broth. It's nice mm. to um, <laughs> mm. the little balls coming up the door. It's nice to just add it with something a bit sweet, sweet after so much like savoury, savoury <laughs> and spicy, and yeah. That's nice. Mm. Mm. And I love the cup. Yeah, I do you like the cup? Yeah, mm. I'll be keeping the cup. I think we'll keep the cup. It's got peanut on. And it's brought us Bill. And you press door. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheeky wing. <It's> done. Bye. <laughs> this very much is so oh. cool. Bye. 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 Right guys, we've all finished in there now. It was starting to get really busy and there was people yeah, yeah. waiting for free tables, so we didn't want to mess around in there doing outro so we thought we'd come do it in the car and let other people sit down and start eating because it was light when we went in and it's dark when we came out so we yeah. have been in a while eating yeah, in there yeah but no there was a like i bet there was about 15 people waiting outside yeah yeah it's a good sign you know the locals must obviously like it but uh, definitely um if you live here or you're on vacation in orlando definitely go and check that place out i absolutely loved it like it was so yeah, nice it was the really food nice. was absolutely delicious um, it was just that, it's just fun making it yourself. I was just to say, it was that fun yeah. element of just, you know, your yeah. food's there, you cook it. And of course you've got Peanut, the robot. It which adorable. It's obviously an added extra to it. It makes it fun, makes it quirky, especially if you've got like kids and stuff. Oh yeah, there was a um, few kids in there one day. But it's worth like eating them. there anyway, even if Peanut, the robot, wasn't there. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, there's other hot, pl hot pot, I mean, tongues. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there's other hot pot places about. But you know, you got the added element of Peanut yeah. and the other robot. Don't know her 
name the one that looks like a cat that you tap on the head. We nicknamed a tea nut. Yeah, I don't know why. For some way, yeah, we don't know why. Just peanut and tea nut, we don't, yeah, <laughs> we don't know. It's definitely worth a go. Um, but the, the, the staff in there were actually really oh, very yeah, nice as well. Very friendly, brilliant. looking after you, making sure everything's okay. So we're giving all this credit to Peanut, the robot, but the humans were nice too. So. Yeah, they come up and do you want more broth? You know, yeah, and if, yeah, if you've got any really questions, just you. ask them, you know, yeah. because... Like you say, it's if you've not done it before, like we haven't, something can be a bit overwhelming. Maybe I'll, I'll, how long do I cook this for? <laughs> that prawn's a bit big. Is it? Cook? You know, just ask them and they'll, uh, they'll help you out. But I've absolutely, yeah. It's, definitely recommend yeah, it. Yeah, definitely recommend it. Real nice treat while we're on a holiday. Yeah, but guys, we're always we're always eating. We're always after things to eat. So subscribe to our channel, One Couple's Adventure. We're always doing fun things, travel, especially eating. There's always yeah, more good to at come. That. So from us and little Peanuts here, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.